The first public beta of iOS 26 is finally here. And of course, a ton of users will want to update. So if you're thinking about updating your device from iOS 18 to the new iOS 26 public beta, in this video, I will show you everything you need to know regarding this update and what to expect new on your device once you have updated. Now, first of all, you need to know that not all devices that are compatible with iOS 18 will also support iOS 26. So basically the older devices, the 10s, the 10s Max, and the iPhone 10 are are actually not supported on iOS 26. So you won't be actually able to install it on your device. Now, before we talk about features and everything new with this update, of course, we need to know how the performance, the stability and the battery life are on this update, because they are very important factors when it comes to running this software on daily basis on your device. Because if you have waited until now to install iOS 26 beta on your device, you probably have only the device that's used on your daily basis and you want to get it on that device. So you want to make sure that it's good enough. Well, well, it's actually really good. Now you will have to keep in mind here that the beta 4, the dev beta 4 and the first public beta are basically the same update. And here we have a Geekbench test from beta 4 and it looks really good. This is the iPhone 15 Pro Max right here and you can see the single core score at 2936 while the multi core score also is great at 7543. But not just numbers here, it actually works really good, it's really smooth and Apple has actually made like a huge jump from beta 3 to beta 4 and now the public beta it has actually improved iOS 26 a lot a lot of the like liquid glass design is back and the performance is actually really really smooth and of course if you install it for the first time you won't notice it but updating from the third beta to the fourth beta you will notice how good actually this beta is. Now, when talking about battery life, of course, we cannot talk here about this beta because we'll have to wait for a few days and see how it will perform. But taking a look at the great progress that has been made on performance, I would expect the battery life to also be a bit better. But this right here is from beta 3 and you can see basically what you're getting yourself into. Just keep in mind that this battery is at 90% battery health. It's not a new battery. And these are the times that I'm getting. So right here, 200%, nine hours, 49 minutes, 190%, nine hours, six minutes, right here, 100 43 percent eight hours three minutes so it's actually not the best ever but not the worst ever it's okay and i'm pretty sure you can actually just use it on daily basis so in terms of features and changes of course everything pretty much has changed with ios 26 and if you're updating from ios 18 to the new iOS 26 public beta, you will find yourself in a device that looks completely different. Like you can see right here on the home screen, the new liquid glass design, it looks totally different. We also have a new control center right here, which actually has been improved a lot with its latest beta. And even on the home screen here, when you go to actually customize your home screen, you will see a new view. You can now edit your wallpaper from here. And even of course, customize the icons now with a clear look with the tinted icons a new way to tint the icons it's actually really really awesome and even when you take a screenshot of your device you will see a totally new ui right here which i really really like i think apple has done an amazing job with this on ios 26. There will be, of course, new apps added as well. So we have new stock apps. The preview app is here. And also Apple has launched a new game app, which is this one right here. This is a new app that Apple has added alongside the preview app on the new iOS 26. And once you update, you will see them on your home screen. The photos app has also completely been redesigned and basically just like a step back from the update that Apple had made to this app, with iOS 18, which a lot of people didn't like. So it's now much, much better. And actually it works and looks more like the iOS 17 photos app than the one on iOS 18. And of course, big updates here to the messages app. We now have finally backgrounds for the conversations. You can now start polls on like the messages. It's actually really awesome with a lot of new updates, a lot of new features here that have been added. And of course, 
the great like backgrounds here which you can actually create using apple intelligence add from different like dynamic backgrounds or maybe even just go ahead and add from your photos the phone app has also completely been redesigned even though we have the option to go back to the old one so you will have this unified look right here and apple has added some amazing new features like the ability for your phone to basically wait in line for you when you're like on a call with a service or something like that and also call screening which is a great new feature especially for your privacy privacy. The camera app is totally new as well with this update and you will get a new UI right here, a new way to switch between different settings of the camera app. So you tap right here, you will get all the different tools that you can use on the camera app and of course the new ui here with the glass design it actually looks really awesome and makes it much much easier for you to actually just slide there and move between different camera modes now of course we get a new look on the lock screen right here with this amazing looking clock right there and new default wallpapers and also dynamic wallpapers are back with ios 26 so these right here are the new default wallpapers and now you can also set them as dynamic so they will actually change colors by themselves as the day goes on so this is a quick look on ios 26 public beta and what you will get on your device once you update this beta from ios 18 but should you update or not of course you should it is actually stable enough and i think it actually works really really well and on the geekbench test that i have done it actually has performed even better than ios 18.5 which was the last ios 18 version that i had installed on your device now we will have to keep in mind that of course new updates will require still two weeks to be released so if you install ios 26 public beta today then you will have most likely to wait another two weeks before you get another update now of course after that most likely we will move on to a weekly schedule which means that every week we will get a new update but for now it is most likely that the next public beta will be released either on the 5th or the 6th of august so that's basically it for this video guys this is the first public beta of the new ios 26 a really interesting update and just updating from ios 18 to this one will actually be totally different especially if you're updating to the public beta now that apple had time to actually work on this update it's much much stable it works really well and with this latest beta with the beta 4 and the first public beta apple has also brought back a lot of the glass design that they have made on the first beta so it's now actually really really good and of course it will be improved even more with the next updates so that's basically it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed enjoyed the video and found it helpful if you did smash that like button and of course subscribe for more and i will see you on the next one